a famous fearmonger who promised to execute whatever number American residents as could be allowed has assumed control over the merciless Los Zetas cartel, a gathering positioned at the Texas outskirt in the Nuevo Laredo Laredo metropolitan fringe territory. Nuevo Laredo, Tamaulipas, sits promptly over the fringe from Laredo, Texas, and is the main urban area along the whole U.S. Mexico outskirt that does not have any fencing or security. Breitbart.com reports, the sentenced fearmonger, Hector Raul Luna, is known as El Torre and was indicted in the 2008 dread assault on the U.S. Department in Monterrey, Mexico. He was discharged from jail because of influences paid via Cartel Jalisco New Generation, CJNG, and has now assumed control over the overwhelming group of Los Zetas, Cartel del Norest, CDN to open up the rewarding and unbound French Hall into Texas. Under El Torre's new rule, Los Zetas is connected to a dimension of mercilessness that had not been seen in earlier years. Abhorrent executions, dissections, directed assaults on police and military authorities, and the general utilization of terrorizing have turned out to be ordinary in parts of northern Mexico as El Torre and Los Zetas endeavor to extend their activities. Most as of late, Briet Bar News detailed only on a progression of dangers made by El Torre, who asserted he would explode the central command of a state police organization in Nuevo Leon. The dangers were made through a few narco pennants that Los Zetas hung all through the mechanical city of Monterrey. The dangers are viewed as believable by law implementation in Mexico, since El Torre has a background marked by focusing on police and has utilized projectiles before. El Torre was discharged from a Mexican government jail in mid-2017 with the assistance of his dear companion and partner Elazar El Chilolo Medina Rojas and his new ties with CJNG, so the two could help build up a Los Zetas CJNG passageway from Monterrey to Nuevo Laredo and into Texas. Their discharge came on account of a government judge and a control judge who managed in every one of the two cases to discharge the two cartel supervisors. El Torre was serving a sentence of over 20 years for the charges of wrongdoings against general well-being, Medicaid dealing, taking part in composed criminal exercises, and unlawful ownership of confined military weapons. Both El Torre and Chilolo have broad criminal narratives and are needed by U.S. experts. Not long after their discharge, the two cartel managers started to leave a trail of bodies behind them as they attempted to cement their situations inside the CDN group of Los Zetas and against alternate cartels. Briet Bar News gave an account of the capture of El Chilolo in the southern province of Yucatan in December 2018. Not long after his capture, a neighborhood state judge attempted to discharge El Chilolo yet government specialists could recapture him for removal purposes. Indeed, even without El Chilolo, El Torre kept on pursuing the savage war against an adversary group of Los Zetas called Outdated Z and has executed several of their individuals in the fringe conditions of Nuevo Leon and Tamaulipas. Mexican law requirements sources uncover to Briet Bard News that El Torre is the driving force behind the grisly homicide of the pioneer of the old school Z group Luis El Rex or Z12 Reyes Enriquez. El Rex passed on inside a state jail in Nuevo Laredo in the wake of being shanked various occasions by CDN detainees. El Torre's men at that point stole El Rex's body from a memorial service home and put his disjoined head in one fridge while whatever remains of the body was isolated into three different holders. Los Zetas at that point put one fridge outside a state jail in Tamaulipas and the three others close detainment facilities around Monterey. El Torre's men have additionally been singled out as the ones who left disjoined body parts outside a paper office in Tamaulipas with a progression of dangers against nearby outlets. In 2008, the man known as El Torre drove and partook in an explosive assault against the U.S. Department General in Monterey. El Torre and his men discharged a few weapons at the U.S. assembling and tossed a dangerous gadget. While the projectile did not detonate, the gunfire broke a few windows and made other harm the building. No wounds were accounted for. In 2008, Los Zetas were a standout amongst the most predominant cartels in all of Mexico and figured out how to become famous as a standout amongst the most merciless and vicious associations.
The Mexican military made up for lost time with El Torre in 2010, in any case, Los Zetas reacted by setting up barricades and undermined nearby police into avoiding the way while they endeavored to unsuccessfully keep the catch of their pioneer. The troops captured El Torre and a portion of his best men who conveyed automatic rifles, a 50-gauge rifle, and projectiles. The capture prompted the sentence of more than 20 years just to be stopped by a Mexican government judge.